Hi, it's Dave again with DRH Acrylic Creations with the first of two videos of my making a Christmas present for my other half. So this is a kind of a holiday tradition with us. And this year I'm going to be doing a ribbon pour uh, using earth tone. So that's a change from the past because I've usually done extremely bright colors. So without any further delay, let's get you down to the canvas and we'll talk about the colors and get started. Okay, I took a second here and I set up a table so I could get this closer and I could show you consistencies and tone. This is my earth tone side. I've got uh, two, basically three different shades uh, going and this is the earth tone side. This is the, the bloodstone. You can see that uh, you're not gonna be able to see the shimmer. This has a lot of shimmer. This is uh, not, again, one of the, this little piggies. And you can see, hopefully, you can see the consistency there. It, it, this is a little bit thicker than my, uh, than my uh, point, or my, my flood color. Uh, I'm wondering if I should thin down my flood, but I am really pushing out of my comfort zone because for me these paints are extremely thin but we're gonna see how this how this will work for me that is the bloodstone next to me in this color is going to be this is Qdag or Cunecono Nicolazzo gold as you can see here again Leaves a little bit of a trace, uh, makes a mound, and then Im immediately disappears. So uh, I'm hoping I'm okay with the consistency on this. I guess we're going to find out. Uh, I just want this. I want the colors to hold their integrity in this rib ribbon pour. So that's the Cuneg. And finally, this is Burnt Sierra. And again, I know this one is hard to see. Uh, hard to see the, the shimmer with, but it is, it's a, it's an amazing color. It was actually, this is one of the colors that was uh, developed for uh, uh, Kathleen Cause, uh, for outcasting of Cause Creations. And it is a earthy brown orange with a gold shimmer to it. So that's, that's the first, first set of colors. Okay, my second two colors is the red side of things. You got my orange, now you have my red. Uh, this is rad. Here it looks really pink. It is an extreme. I mean, this one shines under a black light. You can see the consistency there. And it goes the same way, just makes a little bit of a trace and, dis and disappears. This is Bordeaux Red Arteza. This is probably the truest color to the jar. And it, again, same consistency. Next colors. Okay, my second two colors is the red side of things. You got my orange, now you have my red. Uh, this is rad. Here it looks really pink. It is an extreme. Maybe this one shines under a black light. And you can see the consistency there. And it goes the same way, just makes a little bit of a trace and, dis and disappears. This is Bordeaux Red Arteza. This is probably the truest color to the jar. And it, again, same consistency. Next colors. The next colors. This is Psych. It is a teal, a, a dark teal or a light turquoise. And again, this is another fluorescent color, extremely bright under the under a black light, and it's mixed exactly same consistency. Finally, this is my Blingit color. This is the color that I have that is specifically for uh, giving me a little bit of. A little bit of a lot of shine actually, not a little bit. 
This is 24 karat gold, mixed the same way. You can see the, you can see the shimmer in that. So there's my color again. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how I plan on mixing this, these cups up. I'll be right back. Okay. This is the cup I'm gonna be using. This is a, um, I believe it's a 12 ounce cup. I could be wrong. Uh, it could be an eight ounce cup. But anyways, I'm gonna be mixing up two of these, possibly a third. I'm gonna mix them up exactly the same. Let's start out with a little bit of my my flood color in each one of these. Nice cup there. I probably too, put too much of my probably put too much of my flood color there. That, but well, you know, because it's a flood color, it just means it's going to take a while for it to actually show up. And I'm t dubious as to whether or not I'm going to need more than this. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to mix up another one just in case. Same order in another cup. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back for attempt number two. I was really, after that dried, I wasn't happy with the first one. So I pulled up another one of my big canvases. This is a 48 by 36. Uh, it looks smaller than that because it's way down below me. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a ribbon pour with this. Uh, I'm gonna mix it up my colors the same way as I did last time. So I won't show you that part. And I mixed up a whole bunch more of my uh, my flood paint. So I should not have the problem as I had last time. So I'm going to put some music on. I'm going to let you watch. And I'll interject from time to time as we go along. Okay, I have all my colors down in a pattern that I'm okay with. Uh, it's chaos, but that's okay. The ribbon pores worked out beautifully last time, and I think they're going to be beautiful this time. So, wish me luck. Now we stretch. I'll wait my paint's down on this and I want to bring it back center. Okay, 
and it's actually on that end over there. So let's let's move it towards that direction. This time I have plenty of base, so I think we're going to be okay here. Let's bring it back the other way now. See that I got a little bit of a skin underneath, but my base is so it's fluid. It's it's thinner than all my other paints. different style painting than what I usually do and so there's things about it I love and there's things about it I'm not in love with now I will say this um, it's a much better piece than the last one was uh, it's really not my cup of tea as far as the style goes but it's chaos there is flow uh, there is a flow to it so I can't complain about that I certainly can't complain about these colors. Pretty much spot on for what I wanted to see. Let me bring you down for the flyover. Let's go down and see what we have here. See the gold in a play here. Um, I did get some sellage there. I think that's just the difference between the gold, uh, the 24 karat gold, and the uh, two paints below it. For the interplay of the, the Bordeaux red and the red is actually very, very nice. It almost has a Christmas vibe in here with the green of the, uh, of the, 
of the, the uh, what is it, psych on it. So that's it for now, guys. If you'd like to help, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications of future videos. It really does help, and it's absolutely free. Well, that's it for part one. Come back again on Friday for part two, and I will we'll get to see what the end product was. I want to thank you very much for being here, and I hope you have a great holiday and also a great day. Bye for now.